This is Florida Gulf Coast University. in the 20th century, those who really go against the grain. They also try to advance in ever increasingly radical ways the arts. All of the artists I brought here are formidable members of the Chinese avant-garde. The Wang Wai Bin has been forming probably the most avant-garde and the most stellar art department to produce new media, digital works, and experimental art. He took two things that are used in daily life. For us in America, it's the garbage can, taking out the garbage because we have a huge proliferation of consumer goods, etc. In China, drinking tea and or hot water that's plain is very, very much a part of all day long experience, daily life. So thermoses are used to keep the water hot. And so he has attached these two things and have illumination spreading out. And he hopes that it will have some resonance between the two cultures in this daily life aspect. Shaolin is an artist who I have been working with. A lot of her work stems from, it's mostly about dialogue. Dialogue so that we can come to an understanding, a mutual understanding, and how difficult that can be. Whether it's across gender lines, across age lines, across countries. This is Shaolin's work that we have in the show. It's about love letters. It's put out on bed of traditional Chinese medicine. She used the remaining broth of the Chinese medicine as her ink rather than black ink. Today, she wants to talk to you a little bit in terms of her practice by simply demonstrating in a performance. In the first day of this year, I'm recovering. Today is the fourth day of the 2011. I should be doing something new. Then I pick up this book. The tongue can forgive me peaceful and quiet and change something in the deep side in my heart. I said, okay, I will do this thing for one year. This is a song that 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 is where before me are the ages that have gone, and where behind me are the coming generations. I think of heaven and earth without limit, without end, and I'm alone, and my tears fall down. Yao Shi Tang works in all different kinds of media, from installation to video. We're showcasing here in the gallery a wonderful art video that he worked on up in the northwest of China, so very close to the Himalayas. Now in the family system, they could only send one child to school, and so they distraught, and this brother did not get to go to school. And the only way that he could advance in life from being a shepherd was to become autodidactic, to teach himself. It talks about sort of the idea of fate, and what lot you're born into in life, and how much can you do to change your fate. Jay Bo, he does a lot of interactive work. He's absolutely a community-based artist. A lot of the language is saying, this is a beautiful city, these are your special tourist sites that you can go to. And then meanwhile, almost subliminally down the side in English, you'll see quotes from people he's met on the street about what they really think about Hong Kong. Wong Xiaopeng, he's a professor of new media in Guangzhou. A lot of his students were listening to Western and particularly American music. The students would copy the lyrics off the CD case and look it up and run it through translation engines. And of course that didn't give them any greater understanding at all. It's all very disjunctive. And this is how he feels globalization is really failing. This is the idea. He feels like we're in a hypermediated society and we have too much technology going on and too much information. And he takes images from the newspaper and significant events and then he translates them onto canvas. These are images that represent things that were significant in his life that he felt when you throw out the newspaper, then it's gone. We have a tremendous devotion to internationalization here in terms of how to have our young people grow to not only know themselves and strengthen themselves, but to become better global citizens. 